Good day, Minecraftians. Purple Mentat here, bringing you an Agrarian Skies 2 Hardcore Quest tutorial. In this video, I will be covering how to use Multi MC to play Agrarian Skies 2 Hardcore Quest on Mac OS X and Linux. The first thing you will need to do is point your favorite web browser to multimc.org and download either the OS X or Linux version and install it depending on what your particular operating system is. Once that is done, you will be going to curse.com and searching for Agrarian Skies. This will take a moment to make certain that you are not a potentially malicious user using the search function to do bad things to Curse. And then it will show you the two Minecraft projects that match Agrarian Skies. You'll want the Agrarian Skies 2 project and the Mac slash Linux user link about midway down in the description. This is going to take you to the Agrarian Skies 2 file repository on CurseForge. I'm also going to include a link directly here in the description below. You do not want to download the first file. Instead, you want to scroll down the page to the additional files section where you can find the Linux 1039.zip. In later versions, you should be able to find a similar file in this place for download. You're going to want to go ahead and download this file. And when it has finished downloading, you will want to open it in your file system. While that finishes downloading, we can launch MultiMC. I am on a Windows box, so I'll be showing you the Windows version. However, the information I've been able to gather says that it uses the same general GUI for all of the versions. This is possible because MultiMC runs through Java, the same as Minecraft. The first thing you need to do is add your Minecraft account. So you go to the Accounts section, scroll down to Manage Accounts, and simply click Add. It's going to ask you for your email or username and your password. Let me put those in off screen. And once you have added your account, you can go ahead and set that as the default. Now, when you go to your accounts, you'll see that you are on Purple Mentat for me or whatever your account name is. You will want to click the Add New Instance button right here. We're going to name this instance Agrarian Skies 2. For the version, you're going to want to scroll down to 1.7.10 regular release. And you can set whatever icon you want by clicking on that. Well, let's go with the Nether Star. Why not? Well, I also have the Agrarian Skies 2 logo there, but it's not the right size for a mod pack icon. And if you wish, you can assign it to a group. For example, Jaded's Evil Packs. Now, when you do this, it is going to create a brand new instance of Minecraft on your computer by downloading that version of Minecraft directly from Mojang. This process will take a short amount of time. So, please be patient and wait for the progress bar to load. Once everything is finished downloading, you will want to right click on the instance or left click on the instance and select edit instance from the right hand panel. In version, you will click install forge and wait for the forge version lists to be fetched. According to the agrarian Skies 2 Linux 1039 zip file in the readme you were instructed to install Forge 1387 so go ahead and scroll through to find Forge 10.13.3.1387 if you use a version after this it will not work Click OK, and again, play Progress Bar Quest. Now, 
you can close out of this and click the open the instance folder in a file browser button. This should open the multi-MC slash instances folder no matter what system you're on or where you have saved it. Open up Agrarian Skies 2 and then open up Minecraft. Pull up the Linux 1039 zip file and copy everything inside into this Minecraft folder. Make sure you replace any files that it asks you to overwrite. After copying the files and before you launch the pack, you're going to want to edit some settings in the change settings menu available with the screwdriver over the monitor icon. You will want to go down to the Java settings and make sure that you have a proper amount of maximum memory allocated. In my case, I allocate, I believe, far too much and go ahead and give it four gigs because I have a ridiculous amount of memory and a very fast computer. But I have heard that you should not allocate any more than one gigabyte of, I mean, two gigabytes of RAM. And you're going to want to make certain that the perm gen is set to 256. Now, this particular flag has been removed in some versions of Java, but I believe that the Java 7 that they recommend for Minecraft is still making use of it. Once you have those set, it's just a matter of clicking play and waiting for the launcher and the client to load everything up. Once you're loaded, you're all set. Set your options as you like and select whichever map you would like to play. If you need to reset a map, you've got a button in the upper left hand corner to do exactly that. I hope that this has been useful for you and that you using the Mac and Linux platforms will find this an easy guide to playing Agrarian Skies 2 on your platform of choice. Thank you very much for joining me, folks. You can expect more Agrarian Skies 2 tutorials where we'll be getting into the actual gameplay side of things in the very near future. See you next time.